Good morning, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um, it's Monday again, obviously. This week's going to be a bit different probably um, because I'm going into hospital on Thursday to have my leg operation. Um, so obviously I will film up to Wednesday night and then I've, well, I won't be taking this camera into hospital with me. We've got to get the 10 past five train on Thursday morning, so I'm not going to be filming then. Um, so I don't know if this will, this vlog will just end on the Wednesday night or if I'm, I will manage to get any footage like on my phone that I can add um, or whether I put two weeks together. So I'm not quite sure how it will work yet, but by the time this goes up, then you'll know. Um, but anyway, yes, I am going to head over to Sainsbury's with my mum. I um, want to have a little look around at some of the clothes and bits and bobs. And we also need to go over to Next because I ordered a couple of things last week. One of them has come in, the other one says it's been delayed. So we might just pick up the one that's been ordered because I need that before I go into hospital um, and then find out what's happening with the other one. Um, and then hopefully when I get back, I'll have some time because I want to try and edit a video and get that uploading. So that is the plan for today and for the rest of the week. Um, and now we've got to head out in the rain to go to Sainsbury's. So we've just popped into Next to pick up my order and they've got like all the Christmas jumpers out since Friday. Um, so we're trying some bits on. Um, this is one actually my mum picked up to try on, but I thought I'd give it a try as well. It's quite pretty, it's so soft as well and it's all sparkly across here and it's nice and long so it covers your bum as well which is quite nice. I actually quite like it which is not good, I wasn't, I wasn't meant to like it. Right this is jumper number two, so it's just a black jumper but then it has Mickey Mouse on it and says add a little sparkle. I mean it's nice but it's nothing like, I don't know, you only need so many Christmas jumpers and I feel like I've got more Christmassy ones than this. And yeah, I need to find reasons not to buy things, so this might be a no. This is jumper number three. Again, it's got a little Disney theme to it, so it just says let it snow. Mickey's got a little sparkly hat on and then these snowflakes are embroidered. I prefer this one to the black one just because it's got a little bit more like colour. But do I need another Disney Christmas jumper? Because I did buy one in Asda the other week. And I do like that one as well. So, ooh, I don't know. And then this is the jumper that I got ordered in. I've actually gone for 14 because they didn't have a 12, but to be honest, it fits perfectly. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite happy with this one. It's got like these weird lines across here, but I'm not sure if that's just where the folding's been or something. But it's like a sort of thinner knit, um, but it's still really warm and cosy. And I think it's very me, so we'll be going for this one. Well, I've already paid for this one, so we'll be definitely taking that home. And then my mum's picked up this little one to go in Noah's Christmas box. You'll probably be seeing this after she's given it to him, so. That doesn't matter um it's just like a green knitted jumper with a little reindeer on it which is quite cute and then this is the christmas <laughs> trying to hang that up this is the christmas jumper that my mum has tried on um so it's just like a gray sweater but then it's got little sparkly stars and christmas trees with little pom-poms on them so as you can probably tell, it's now a lot later than when I spoke to you last. I think when I last spoke to you, we were in Next, trying on clothes. <laughs> um, actually, I was quite restrained in Next. I, I mean, I really did like the Disney jumpers, but I've already bought one from Asda, a Disney Christmas jumper this year, and I just thought, I don't need any more, and I can't afford any more. But I did buy the... Um, the white one that had the sort of like ho 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 in red, like glittery ready pink, I think. So I did buy that. Um, but yeah, we hadn't planned on spending quite so long in um, Next. We planned on just going in, picking up the um, order, trying on the jumper to check that it fitted and then kind of going on. But 
yeah, Max had other ideas because they decided to put out all the Christmas jumpers. Um, so after Next, we then went to Sainsbury's, which are the, they're just like, not next door, but like five minutes down the road from each other. And we don't go to Sainsbury's that often. And I think we've decided after going that actually we need to go more because um, we managed to find quite a few bits for Noah. So it's his birthday coming up and one of the things that they've asked for is some clothes. So we found some bits like that and also we needed to get him some like bibs but the ones that like cover their arms as well. Um, and we found some in there which was good. Um, I bought a pinafore dress. It's like a um, corduroy, like a navy corduroy one with little flowers on it which is quite pretty. Um, and I also found some salted caramel M&Ms which I have bought to try because um, I watch Brogan Tate, um, her weekly vlogs, I will link her in the description bar and she's always saying how nice the salted caramel M&Ms are so I thought I'd buy some because I found some in there. Um, and yeah it was getting really really late by the time we'd kind of done that as well and so in the end we, we kind of grabbed a mcdonald's and brought that home and ate that for a very late lunch um while i was out um i got a phone call from my dad and i was like why is my dad ringing me like he doesn't he doesn't usually ring unless there's like obviously he doesn't just ring for a chat you know um so he rang up and he was like he was like oh i've got some bad news i was like oh no what and basically um my surgeon's secretary had rung and I think she tried to ring my mobile because I had a message but I didn't hear my phone ring um but she'd also rung home and thankfully dad had answered and basically my surgeon had come in to work today and looked at his lists for the week and he looked at like Thursday and he was like no there's way too many people on that list I can't I can't do them all um so me and another person um they said they were going to have to move so basically i'm not having my operation on thursday anymore um and when my dad told me that i just wanted to burst into tears um however they said they're going to move it to next tuesday which is the 12th um so it's not too much longer to wait um i think i just i, I felt quite tearful because I think I've like I'd mentally prepared myself for it being on Thursday I'd kind of organized my life around it I'd cancelled things um because of it being on Thursday and not being able to kind of do those things um just silly things like that that aren't actually that silly um and also just being having it in your mind that that's when it's going to be um so yeah, I felt a bit wobbly. I kind of, I feel okay about it. As long as it does go ahead on Tuesday, I really, if it gets postponed again, I just think it's gonna be, it's gonna get even harder. So I'm hoping it'll, it'll go ahead on the Tuesday. Um, and now that I've had a bit of time to think about it, maybe it's better that way because, so mine was gonna be on a Thursday, which would have meant I would have had to stay in definitely over the weekend and weekends are always a bit funny in hospitals because there's not so many people around um i don't know if you'd get like physio and that kind of stuff on a weekend um and it might just kind of delay things a bit more whereas because i'm going in on the tuesday it might be that i can get home by the friday i don't know it's it's gonna depend on how i am but it's probably better to be in for during the week when I can get some progress made. Um, so that probably works out like better. Um, it also means it's on a day that we haven't got nowhere because we were, I think my mum was a bit concerned because um, obviously me and my dad were going off at like five o'clock in the morning and um, she would have to go and get nowhere, but also the dogs need walking and I think she was just a bit worried about how it was all gonna work. Um, so that's not a worry anymore. <clears throat> it also means that I can take part in the Remembrance Parade on Sunday. Um, it's just our local one, but they ask for um, town councillors to do like the march. Um, so that means that I can be part of that now, which is quite nice because I wanted to kind of be part of it. Um, 
and it just means I've got a little bit more time to get myself organized and sorted and yeah get things get things sorted it does mean that my recovery is going to be put back a little bit as well but in the grand scheme of things as long as it goes ahead on Tuesday oh excuse me on Tuesday it's not the end of the world um that's what I'm telling myself <laughs> so yeah that was disappointing but we can work with it so it's okay um it means I like because I was like thinking today like because we were going to have to go out and do what we were going to do and then I was thinking I need to get back and edit a video and get it up um, and actually that's worked out quite well because we were back so late I now don't have to kind of rush to edit the video I might actually like switch things this week and put up a weekly vlog and then the video otherwise it's not going to make sense because <laughs> basically the video is saying that I won't be uploading for a while so it would then be silly to then upload a vlog so I'm going to sw might switch it around um, and it also means I've got a bit more time to write my blog post and yeah just yeah I don't know you've got to find the positives haven't you so I've got a bit more time at home going to try and do a few nice things with the extra days that I've got um, and yeah so that's that's been what's happened today it's been a bit of a manic day to be honest um, we're getting a stair lift or two stair lifts putting, put in tomorrow my dad rang them this morning um, because we've had um, like a grant approved in principle we haven't had like it in writing but the people that my dad applied to have basically said they would they don't see any problem with it happening it's just going to be the formalities of the paperwork so we're going to get stair lifts put in tomorrow which will be a massive lifesaver one because after the surgery the doctor says that I'm going to really struggle with stairs so the fact that we would have two stair lifts means that you know I the house wouldn't be like inaccessible for me but also like beyond that I struggle with stairs anyway so it's going to be really helpful to have that kind of extra bit of help getting up and down the stairs so yeah it's kind of been a day of like ups and downs and I feel a bit like oh a bit funny um but it is what it is and we will deal with it so this week will now be a full weekly vlog after i said this morning that it was going to be a short one this will just be another weekly vlog now um but yeah it is now nearly five o'clock and i'm just not even going to bother trying to start doing any vlog stuff um i've got a meeting this evening i feel quite drained just from all of the like medical stuff like backwards and forwards going on so i think i'm just going to put the telly on and relax for a bit so that I've got a bit of energy to go to this meeting and can just recover a bit from <laughs> the madness of today. Good morning. I have had a bit of a sleep now, obviously. Um, I don't feel quite so exhausted like I did last night. Um, yesterday was just a bit of a manic day and I uh, had a long meeting in the evening as well and by the time I got home I just felt exhausted. Um, so today I have got a physio appointment which I have to go to in probably just over an hour and then I've got another meeting this evening um, but apart from that I want to start doing some editing. Um, I can't remember if I said this yesterday but I think I'm going to swap the way around that I put up videos so usually I put up like a sit down video at the beginning of the week and then my weekly vlog at the end of the week but I'm going to switch that round and do the weekly vlog first and then I'll put the sit down video up towards the end of the week just because the sit down video I talk about how I'm not going to be um, around to upload for a bit and then it'll be a bit weird if I then uploaded another video so that's the plan um yeah so I'm going to go and get on with starting to do some editing I'm having well, we're having um, some stair lifts put in today, um, so yeah, we're getting one of the both sets of stairs um, in the hope that it will help me one sort of after my operation to get up and down the stairs, but also just in general, um, if I'm struggling with the stairs, then that will be quite helpful as well. Um, I'm trying to see it's a positive thing because, like, in reality, like I don't think any kind of person in their thirties really wants to have to admit or yeah admit to themselves I guess that they are going to need a stair lift um so yeah in some ways it does feel a bit sad but I'm trying to see it as a positive and see it as something that will help 
make my house more accessible to me so yeah I, th I don't know they're meant to be here at 11 so I'm not sure I'm not sure if they're here yet or not because I'm upstairs um but yeah I'll, I'll uh, obviously show you those once they're in um and yeah that's about that's about the day so I'm gonna go and get on with doing this editing um before I have to go to my physio appointment so I'm just out of my um, physio appointment. He did some more like soft tissue work, which definitely seems to help. Like it's quite sore on my back, um, but it does seem to like loosen the muscles a bit, which is definitely helpful. Um, and then we went over some of my exercises, changed them up a little bit. Um, some of them I was finding too difficult and they were causing too much pain in other parts of the body. Um, but there was a couple that we've managed to kind of add to a bit. Um, so my because my operation is next next week now um we've booked another appointment for like three weeks after that so it would have given me a chance to kind of come home from hospital and be sort of recovering a bit after the surgery um and then i'm going to come back and we're just going to kind of see how things are and what i can do because obviously i won't be able to do what i've been doing like recently so we might have to kind of go right back to basics again but it'll be a good chance to kind of like just check in and work out some more like physio stuff that I can be doing um, kind of as I'm recovering. So that's quite good. I'm going to head home now. I need to get some lunch and I'm guessing the stair lift people will be there. My dad thought they were coming at 11, but actually they're not. They're coming at 1. So they will be there by, well, they hopefully should be there by now because it's nearly 2 o'clock. So there's probably going to be lots of banging and drilling and goodness knows what else. But yeah hopefully it'll be worth it in the long run so i'm gonna head home get some lunch probably watch a bit of tv while i eat my lunch and then probably get on with a bit more editing because i want to get do it well yeah get that done um before my meeting this evening so it's been fairly busy since i got home from physio um when i got back the stair lift guy was here installing here yeah, installing the stair lifts um, I had some lunch and then I needed to kind of like test them out to make sure that they were the right height and everything. Um, Mum and I have just popped out because I needed to go to the post office and I also needed to go down to the doctors to sort out a couple of appointments. Um, basically I changed my GP appointment um, because I ended up having to go up and see my surgeon. Um, and now because they've changed the operation, I'm having to change the GP appointment again. Um, but they haven't got any appointments in the diary yet, so I need to keep checking. Um, but yeah, so stair lifts are now in. So we've got one on this set of stairs and then one on the set of stairs that goes up to my bedroom. Um, I've had a go on them, but I thought I would just show you um, me having a little go on them because I didn't film myself earlier. Um, so hopefully my mum's going to hold the camera so I can show you what it does. Although I'm sure you know what it does, it goes up and down the stairs, but I need to document it. <laughs> up, up, up in a painted cup, I will pour my love from a cloud above. So bright I can see the lights, taking you up and above the blue sky. Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours. Up, up in a painted cup, right in the sky like a firefly. Like a firefly. Good morning. I'm feeling rather tired today. Um, I think it's because I've had like, well, I've had two... Um, council meetings, one on Monday evening, one yesterday evening and then I've actually got one this evening as well so it's a bit of a, a busy week for council meetings and I'm getting a bit tired but never mind. Um, so yeah, we've got Noah today, he is asleep at the moment. Um, I got up this morning, he'd already had his breakfast um, so I then just played with him for a little while and then popped him down for a nap and yeah, he's been asleep for nearly two hours so he obviously needed that nap. Um, and then I've, I've had my breakfast, I needed to sort out my medication for the rest of the week because I'd only done it until Thursday because that's when I thought I was going into hospital. Um, and then I got dressed and yeah, now I'm here. <laughs> um, I've got Alfie sitting next to me. I don't think you can see him there, hang on. Where's he gone? There he is. Oh, camera's shaking, sorry, there he is cuddling up to me on the sofa um, but yeah I'm actually going to have to go and get Noah up in a minute because he's got Wayfinders this afternoon which is the toddler group that he goes to 
um, and he needs to have some lunch before he goes. So, I mean, yeah, he's been asleep for nearly two hours, so I don't feel so bad about waking him up. Um, usually he'd be chatting by now, but he's been fairly quiet. Um, I did think about going swimming this afternoon because obviously I'm not going to be able to go again for a while. Um, but actually I don't feel particularly well and I've got so many things I want to get done before I get into hospital um, that I think I'm just going to stay at home and get on with some bits here. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for today. Um, I haven't really got as much, well I haven't got as much done this morning as I'd hoped because I didn't get up very early. Um, but all I want to do at the moment is sleep which is really annoying because no, that's what my body wants to do, my brain, that's not what I want to do. Um, but anyway, I think I'm going to go and get Noah up and get, yeah, get his lunch and then get him packed off to Toddler Grove and then I'll have my lunch. I'm just finishing my lunch. Um, so yeah, I went to get Noah up earlier and he's just in such a funny mood. Um, I, I kind of forget that he repeats everything that you say. Um, like, we had to go and wake him up and... Um, he was like quite sleepy and stuff and then he got up and he was absolutely fine um, and then we brought him downstairs and I asked him if he wanted to sit on my knee to go down on the um, stair lift and he really wasn't sure about that but he was happy to watch so we did that um, and then I needed to change his nappy so um, I changed his nappy and like put the new one on and it was a, like a bit wonky and I was like, oh, it's all wonky donkey. And now he's going around going wonky donkey, wonky donkey. So, um, yeah, sorry about that Richard and Lisa if uh, you hear him saying that because, well, not that it's a bad thing, but um, yeah, he's uh, obviously picked that one up. Um, I said to him, oh, you got dinosaurs on your trousers. And he, he goes, trouser sores. <laughs> so, yeah, he now has trouser sores on, which made me laugh. Um, but yeah, it's just in such a funny mood, like we played for a bit, um, when was it? Oh no, we played before he went to bed and um, we were sitting down, um, I was sitting down and he was sitting down where his little kitchen is and he was getting all the food out and then my mum came in and he was like, he said, oh nanny, sit down and he like pointed at the floor. So my mum came and started to sit down and he like, he reached over to me and just went, excuse me Jenny and like tried to push me out the way. Um, so I was like, no, I'm going to sit here too. Um, but yeah, he's had his lunch. Um, he was very chatty, he ate, ate a good lunch. Um, we've got like a big picture collage on the wall that's on like a big canvas. So he's always like looking at that and pointing and like pointing at different pictures of different family members and stuff. Um, and he's still really obsessed with my sister's horse. So he was pointing and he was like, pony, pony. And I was like, yeah, that's Mickey. And then he said something and I couldn't work out what it was for ages and he kept saying it. And then I realized he was saying um, something like um, Mickey eating carrots or something like that. And I think when, cause he went to see Mickey with um, Rosie and Richard and Lisa. And I think Rosie must have given Mickey like a carrot or something. It's just amazing like the things that he remembers. Um, so yeah, got him, got him have, like he had his lunch and got him down and got him ready. Um, I don't know, he's just turning into such a little boy, which sounds silly to say, because obviously he's always been a little boy, but he, I feel like he's becoming more of a like, he's not a baby anymore. Like he'll be two in a few weeks time. Um, and he's just so knowledgeable about everything and, He's just so on the ball. We're trying to like do colours at the moment and like, well, certainly the last few weeks, like everything has been purple. He liked saying purple. Um, and then today I was like asking him what colours things were and it's yellow now, so we're on to yellow. Um, but he's just, yeah, it's, it, I, I just find it incredible watching him and Maisie like develop and learn new stuff and it's just, it's amazing. We've got this cute video of Maisie um, that Emma sent us and she's just learned to like blow raspberries. Um, so I showed it to Noah and he thought it was hilarious that Maisie was like making fart noises basically and blowing bubbles and stuff. And then the video stopped 
So I sort of turned my phone off and put it in my pocket and he went into my pocket and he was like, more Maisie, more Maisie. Um, so yeah, he's definitely like warming to her a bit more now, I think because she's like a bit older and she's kind of interacting slightly more. Um, and he's obviously getting like used to her as well. Like to begin with, he didn't really know like what she was or anything like that. So no, it's nice that he's kind of trying to interact with her a little bit more now. Um, so yeah, he went off to um, the toddler group with my dad and I've just been here eating my lunch. Um, I sat down on the sofa when he'd gone actually because my lunch wasn't quite ready and I just started falling asleep. <laughs> and It's just ridiculous. I hate feeling like this. Um, I don't know why I'm so tired all the time. Like I get a decent amount of sleep at night. Um, but every time I sit down, I can feel my eyes going and I just feel like I've had everything drained out of me. I was gonna go swimming this afternoon and I just, I couldn't face it because, oh, look, talking about it, it's making me yawn. Um, yeah, I just thought I can't, I haven't got the energy. I'm in too much pain and I've got too much to do. <laughs> so I haven't gone swimming. I feel a bit bad about it, but I don't know. Sometimes you have to prioritize things and listen to your body, if so that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'm gonna finish my lunch and then I think I'm gonna go and try and do a bit of editing while Noah's out. And then when he gets back, I'm guessing he won't have time for another nap and actually he slept quite well this morning. So we'll probably just play for a bit until it's his snack time. Um, he was desperate to go out in the garden earlier. He went into the utility room and found we've got him a new pair of Peppa Pig wellies. And he found his new pair of wellies and he, he put them, well, he, he asked me, he was like, wellies on, wellies on. So I put them on him and he was like walking around the house with them on. Um, but he kept going over to the windows and just like, garden, garden. I said, we can't go out in the garden now because it was like, I was still in my pajamas. I hadn't had my breakfast or anything. Um, so I don't know whether he can go out in the garden for a bit when he gets home, maybe. I think my dad's gonna take him out there tomorrow to brush up some of the leaves because they're just all falling into the garden now. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll probably play with him a bit when he gets home, but I do wanna get some work done. So I don't know how long I'll get. Depends what time they come home, really. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with eating this and then try and get as much editing done as I can. Oh, I got a cup of tea, thank you. I've got two cups of tea. Yes. Oh, cheers. Sorry, <laughs> I wasn't meant to take. Do you want to take one and then we can do cheers? You hold one? And I hold one. Cheers. You do it? What do you say? Yes. Cheers. Noah's making us tea. Aren't you? You're making us some tea. What are you doing? Oh, hello, Freddy. <laughs> Freddy come for a cup of tea. Mm. Freddy wants a cup of tea. Should we get the rest of the bits out? Look, we've got the milk jug and we've got the sugar bowl. And then we've got some plates. Hi, Freddy. Have to get the plates out. There we go. A bit stuck. Food. Food. Yeah, you You're gonna make some coffee or tea? Tea. Tea, that's a good choice. Good choice. Are you a wonky donkey? Wonky donkey. Wonky donkey. <laughs> and have you got dinosaurs on your trousers? Is it stuck? Do you want me to do it? Do it. What am I doing? Putting it back on. You've got dinosaurs on your trousers. Dinosaurs. Oh. 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 Oh.
I think the last time I filmed was when Noah was still here, so that was a while ago now. Um, I'm trying to think what we've been doing. I think, I think I yeah, I think I was playing with him actually after he'd got back from toddler group, um, and then we gave him a snack, and then Richard came and picked him up, and I did a bit more editing, crashed out for a bit, and then I have just been to a meeting. Um, thankfully, it didn't go on too late, so <laughs> small wins. Um, but yeah, I'm home, having real problems with my knees, like they're really painful, which is not good considering I'm having leg surgery next week. So yeah, hopefully they improve a bit. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you actually, um, my friend Sarah, who used to live across the road from me, her parents still do, um, but she doesn't anymore. Um, her parents went down to stay with her last week, I think it was, and so she gave them my birthday present to bring back um but she also gave them something else as well and i just thought that i would show you i've been meaning to do this for the last few days but things just keep coming up but i thought i'd do it now before i forget um so yeah let me show you what she got okay so this was the birthday present that she got me um so she kindly gave me um it's basically a deck patch kit i suppose um so we've got a letter j which is kind of this sort of cardboard material um you can get these in hobby craft and stuff and there's just loads of different shapes and letters and numbers and um all sorts of different things and then you get some deco patch paper so she gave me this sort of like floral one and then this pink one with uh, sort of butterflies and flowers on it as well um, and then she also gave me the special glue that you use it's kind of like paper mache sort of i suppose you basically like use the glue so this is one of the glues they have various different types of glue um, and you can then use a brush which she also kindly gave me um and you like rip bits of the paper off and then you kind of glue them on and glue over them and it obviously covers the letter or the animal or the shape or whatever you're doing um and then when it dries it's kind of got like a glossy finish so i'm looking forward to doing a bit of that while i'm recovering from my surgery but then as well as the birthday present um her mum also came over with this bag which i mean how gorgeous is this bag it's all like glittery but it's like a pink ombre it's so nice um and yeah she came over with this bag and basically said that sarah said it was full of goodies to take into hospital with me and to um yeah hopefully make my stay a bit nicer and yeah she just filled it with so many lovely things so she put in some twirls they are one of my favorite chocolates and they will definitely go down well um <clears throat> sorry losing my voice a bit she then put in a book so it is um claudia carroll the secrets of primrose square which i haven't read before but it sounds good um then she also put in a couple of like puzzle books so there's a crosswords one and a sudoku i'll be honest i am not very good at sudoku but maybe this is my chance to give it another go and <laughs> try and do it better um she also then put in a lovely coloring book i love these joanna um is it basford ones um, so this is the secret garden. I'm not going to take everything out because I think this is going to fall over. Um, then a lovely notebook, which I think is from the works. So it just says, think happy thoughts. So I can write various bits and bobs in that. And then, where is it? Somewhere in here. Hiding. Somewhere in here, there is a pen. Hang on a minute, let me do some rummaging. Right, it was hiding in the tissue paper, but yeah, she also put this little pen in, which looks like a panda, but you can um, put down each side. How do you get it off? There we go. Um, and then there's like red and black ink. This reminds me of those pens we had when I was like a child, where you had lots of different colours that you could like put the thing down and get that colour out of it. Um, but that'll be really useful for writing in the notebook, writing in the puzzle books and just jotting things down in general. 
so I just thought that was such a lovely idea that I really wanted to share it with you because it's just I don't know it's so thoughtful and going into hospital is difficult no matter how many times you've been in it's still hard and it's just really nice when people think of you and do little things whether it's like sending a message or a card or like a gift like this it just it just makes it a little bit easier and a little bit nicer and then I also just wanted to show you this which my friend Ruth sent me so she sent me a lovely letter and card and she also sent this and I was trying to work out what it was to start with I thought it was like a like a moisturizer or something and then I realized basically it's dough so like play-doh um but it's infused with essential oils so it's got juniper lavender pal palmarosa and geranium and it's called i think it's modo so it's moldable aromatherapy dough and what does it say on the back it says struggling to get a good night's sleep mold the dough for approximately five to ten minutes at bedtime so the specifically selected no specially selected essential oils can be vaporized and inhaled violet is a calming and relaxing color perfect for settling tired minds i just thought that's such a fun idea so i haven't decided whether i'm going to take that into hospital or whether i'm going to use it like while i'm recovering or even before actually while i'm a bit nervous and like feeling anxious um but it's not anything i've ever heard of before but i'm really quite excited to give it a go because i love play-doh and stuff like that so this is going to be quite fun to use so yeah i don't know if sarah or ruth um watch my videos but thank you so much because these things have really made me smile and just made life a little bit nicer good morning it feels a bit weird today knowing that i should have been up in london in the hospital possibly under a general general anesthetic by now um but instead i had a bit of a lie-in um noah came and woke me up after his breakfast um and then i had my breakfast while he kind of ran around the kitchen and opened all the cupboards and <laughs> yeah caused a bit of havoc but um he's now for his nap and i am just going to get on with doing some more editing on my weekly vlog because i need to get it done <laughs> um so yeah i don't really have any plans today apart from i've got a blood test later this afternoon um but apart from that we've just got nowhere all day i think my dad's going to take him out in the garden this afternoon to do some leaves because noah has, keeps asking if he can go out in the garden and it's sunny at the moment so hopefully that will be okay for him um but yeah i just want to try and get some work done really um and take my mind off the fact that i should have been having my operation today um so while he's asleep i'm just going to get on with doing a bit more editing right this little man is not sleeping anymore um i think he's only had about an hour of, he's, we left him because we weren't sure if we'd go back to sleep but he's just chatting and I've just turned the light on and I've just heard him go, ooh, light on. So I think it's time to go and get him up. So let's see what, we, what we're up to. <laughs> Are you awake? Yeah. Have you been awake a long time? Yeah. What's all this noise been? Are you still lying down? Love it. You haven't slept very much, have you? Did you see me turn the light on? Have you been you've been chatting and singing? I've heard you. Would you like to get up? Ba 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 Are you singing? This is his way of singing at the moment. Is that your new singing? What's on your what's on your t-shirt? Ellie. Ellie's not on your t-shirt. What's on your t-shirt? Oh my goodness me. He's <laughs> like moving the cot like that. I don't know how much long. Yeah. You, yeah, you're moving the cot. I don't know how much longer you're going to be in this cot. Oh, I think someone knocked at the door. Hopefully grandpa can answer it. Um, no, what's on your t-shirt? What is it? Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Right, shall we get up? 
Benny. Yeah? Stop. You're moving the cot. I know, I can see that. Yeah. Slightly concerning. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to get up? Move. Stop. <laughs> Are you going to get up? Move. Stop. You're moving the cot. Yeah, it's squeaky. Yeah. Is it squeaky? Right, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Should we get up? Yeah? yeah. Should we say bye bye, everyone? Are you jumping now? Jumping. Oh my goodness. Right, let's go downstairs and find Grandpa. And I think Nanny might be back soon as well. Then we can have some lunch. Do you want some lunch? Move. Stop. Move in the car. And then maybe after lunch we can go to the garden. Garden. <gasps> Do you like the garden? I like the garden. Are there lots of leaves? Yes. Swipe. Leaves. Swipe the leaves. Lots and lots of leaves. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get rid of them all. Come on then, let's get on. So we've had our lunch and now Noah is togged up in his wellies and his all-in-one suit. And we've come out in the garden, haven't we? Yeah. Are we in the garden? Yeah. Noah's playing on the seesaw. Are you sing seesaw? <laughs> Seesaw, march, seesaw. What comes next? Master. No, I can't have any master. And we're going to clean some leaves up, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Are there lots of leaves? Yes. Are you finished? Do you want to get off? Are there lots of leaves? Yes. Can you do it or do you need some help? Um, What's the magic word? Please. Good boy. So lucky to have this just behind our house. I don't think the camera's really doing it justice, but it looks so pretty with the sun on it. Noah wants to go for another walk and I have no energy left. Grandpa? Grandpa? What's Grandpa doing? doing. You want to go back in the garden? Did you sit in the wheelbarrow? Were you with the leaves? <laughs> Did you get a wet bottom? Wet bottom. Oh no! Um, Have you got a wet bottom? Wet, wet, wet bottom. <gasps> Have we been for a little walk in the woods? woods. What did you see? Um, that garden. That garden. Did you see some trees? <laughs> and did you, you knocked on the tree didn't you? He said knock knock. Is anyone in? Yeah. Is anyone in? Me. Was there any squirrels? Me. Or birds? Uh. Or mice? Uh. Squeak, squeak. 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 <laughs> and we saw some mushrooms, didn't we? Yeah. Hang on a minute, I'll help you down the hill. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. So, Nara and I had a nice time in the garden, didn't we? Went out into the woods and had a little walk. Um, and yeah, just got to the point where I was exhausted. No, I would have stayed out there all afternoon. Um, but we decided to come in and we put Peppa Pig on the telly. And I think he is rather tired because he just like snuggled up on the sofa with me. Probably for the best part of half an hour watching Peppa Pig. And he was, I thought he'd gone to sleep because he was so quiet, but... Then he started like saying little bits of like what Peppa Pig was like saying and we saw Father Christmas, didn't we? What else did we see? Some pumpkins and a train and a bicycle. What did you see on Peppa? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did you see on Peppa? Was there a tortoise? Tortoise. So yeah, we've just been snuggling on the sofa and I've been trying not to fall asleep. Um, and now we've just sat Noah up and he's having his snack. What have you got for your snack? Nana. 
That's not a banana. What's this? Melon. And what are these? Grapes. Yeah, so he's just having his snack and then I'm guessing Richard will probably come and pick him up fairly soon because he's home. And then you'll be going home. I think that, yeah, I, he should have had another sleep. I think he's rather tired. Are you rather tired? I'm rather tired. Rather tired. Um, you did, you had a lovely time in the garden. Like getting in all the leaves and the mud. Was it all muddy? And did you give Jenny something special today? Should we show you? <gasps> Noah's having a birthday party. Are you having a teddy bear's picnic? Yeah. That's your birthday party. What's that? <laughs> so yeah, Noah is going to be two at the end of November and he's having a teddy bear's picnic and I got a little invitation today. He came up to my room to wake me up this morning and you gave me this, didn't you? Yeah, are you having a party? Are you finished? Would you like another piece? Would you like some more? Why are you waving at me? <laughs> Why are you waving at me? Would you like some more melon? No, okay. Grapes? He's eating the grapes. Hello, good morning, just. Um, yeah, I have had a very unproductive morning. I slept until about quarter to 11, which is not how long I wanted to sleep, but I think I've said it before this week, I am just feeling so tired. And I think after looking after Noah for two days, I just needed that extra sleep. So it is what it is. Um, I'm up and dressed now. We're just waiting for my dad to get back. And then me, my mum and my dad are gonna go over to um, a garden centre for a bit of lunch because my mum said she was gonna take me out for lunch before I go into hospital, just as something nice to do before I go in because when I come home, I'm probably not gonna be able to get out that much um, for the first few weeks anyway. So um, she thought it would be nice to do something. So. I'm going to go downstairs, get myself ready, because my dad should be back any minute really. Um, and then we're going to head over to the garden centre. <laughs> the wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree. Glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking hot wine by the fire don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you. We're back from the garden centre now. Had a nice lunch. Um, I had a mushroom risotto. They're really good at that garden centre at doing risottos. The best one I've ever had was they did a butternut squash risotto. This was going back a year or two now, and it was really nice. But they've never well, I've never been there when they've done it again. Um, but yeah, had the risotto and had a hot chocolate. Um, it got really, really hot in the restaurant and I was feeling quite, I don't know, I find that when, if I get, like, start getting too hot, I start feeling quite faint. Um, so I was a little bit worried that I was going to, like, keel over or something. Um, but we were alright. And then we went and had a little look around, um, some of the garden centre. There was, like, a few more 
of the like Christmassy bits out. They're just putting so much stuff out every time we go. They're putting like another load of stuff out. Um, so I said to my mum that like maybe one of my goals could be for like after I've had my operation um, that we could go back there and just have a look when it's all like finished and put out and everything. Um, but yeah, we had a little look around and we've just got back now. I'm having one of those days today where I feel like um, oh, I'm tired. I think I've tried to do that already. Um, but my body feels a bit like jelly. It's like it feels very like wobbly. And also like I just feel like I'm not like breathe able to breathe properly. I think I am, but it I don't know. It feels like I keep yawning and I'm feeling like I'm just not like breathing in properly and I get days like this and I think it all ties in with like being overtired and having done a lot because I've done a lot like with Noah the last couple of days um and I think it's just as a result of that and like having a bit of a reaction and a sort of payback for that really um but it's not much fun like yeah I was sitting in the garden centre and just sitting there like I don't think I don't know, I just get to a point where like, I, I literally feel like I don't know if I can actually move. I feel so like slowed down and wobbly and tired and just not with it. Um, but it's quite, I don't know, it's quite scary and I don't, I don't like it. So I'm kind of glad we're back in a way so that I can just sort of take things at my own pace. Um, but yeah, it's freezing outside but it was really hot in the restaurant. Um, I'm going to try and get on with a bit of editing now because I want to get this weekly vlog finished so that I can get, ideally before I go in for my operation I want to get, I need to get another video up and I want to get a blog post up. Um, so that is the plan. Um, I don't know, it's starting to get closer again now to the operation because um, obviously it's on Tuesday. Um, but I don't know, I feel funny about it because I'm, I'm getting nervous about it but at the same time I think in my head I'm like, I'm not completely like thinking that it's going to happen. I'm just waiting to have another phone call to tell me that it's going to be changed or something's gone wrong with it or something like that again. So it's hard to like feel fully prepared for it. But that's what I'm kind of aiming for. That's that's when it's happening. So I need to start thinking about getting bits out to pack. And I have made a list actually because I made that before it got postponed. Um, and my mum was just saying like are there any other things like places you want to go before the operation um, and like things you want to do I mean there's plenty of things I want to do or need to do like tidying and stuff like that but yeah it's just kind of prioritising what I can get done um, so we'll see but anyway I'm going to get on with this editing now mum and dad have both gone out dad's got a doctor's appointment and my mum's gone to the supermarket so I'm going to make the most of the peace and quiet and Try and get this video finished. So I've just come down to the lounge after doing a bit of editing. And Dad's got the fire going. It's a bit smoky in here because something went a bit wrong. But the boys just automatically just want to sit by it. Hello. Are you loving it? Well, Freddie wants to lick the flames. I'm not sure. Mm. I thought Alex was supposed to be frightened of fire. <laughs> Are you daft? Are you daft? Hello. What are you doing? Hi! Oh! <laughs> just bashed his head on the camera! <laughs> oh, silly boy! Silly boy! I don't know if there's a chimney sweeping. Yeah, it could be. Look at that little nose. Look at that little nose that won't focus. Oh. What more could you want on a Friday evening? A dog on your knee and the fire going. Hey, what more could you want? What do you think, Alfie? <laughs> Alfie's happy. We've actually got the windows open at the moment to try and get some of the smoke out though. It's not very warm at the moment, is it? It's not very warm. Oh, you're so cute. Not when you bark but most of the time. Hello. You're very cute. Good afternoon. It is Saturday. Um, sorry about the random position. Can anyone else with EDS just not sit on a chair properly? Like I just, 
I find it really uncomfortable to just sit like normally on a chair I always have to have like my legs up or like curled up in some weird position um so yeah to someone else it probably looks quite uncomfortable but to me it's actually a lot more comfortable um I've had a very very quiet morning had a lie in um and I've just been kind of pottering doing little bits and bobs um with the telly on not really doing very much it's raining and horrible outside so yeah I'm just having a quiet Saturday I'm just getting my weekly vlog uploaded then I want to try and get my other video edited um and possibly probably put that one up on Monday um and I need to then get on with writing a blog post um I don't really have any plans today although my mum and I might pop over to Marks and Spencer's later this afternoon um basically I have let me see if I can show you. I have these bedroom boots and they're from Accessorize. Got them last year and they have just completely split. Um, they actually split really early on and if I had been able to, I would have taken them back to the store. I did email them and they said that, I'd have, they, that I would have to take them back to the store. But our nearest store, well, just to get out to any store is difficult. Um, so I never got around to doing it but they're just becoming really dangerous so um, I've had a look on the Accessorize website and they just don't seem to have very many like nice designs this year um, but I had a look on Marks and Spencer's website and they have some really nice ones so um, my mum and I might pop over there a bit later to see if I can get a new pair before I go in for my operation because there's no way I can wear these once I've had my operation like I think I'll probably break my neck um, so yeah I think we might go over and do that at some point but apart from that I'm just going to be getting on with um, trying to get blog content and stuff sorted before I go in I've just ordered a bag on Amazon um, because I'm stressing out slightly about taking what to take with me and how I'm going to take it with me we're going to get the train up to London we've got to get the 10 past 5 train on Mon on Tuesday morning which is going to be hellish um, but I can't take my electric wheelchair because there's not enough room for it in the ward where I go um, so I'm going to have to take my manual wheelchair which means my dad's going to have to push me so taking a suitcase is going to be quite difficult because trying to push a wheelchair and like do a suitcase is just a bit of a nightmare so I've ordered like a big sort of hold all thing on Amazon which he could just put over his shoulder and then I might take a rucksack as well with just like my bits that I'm going to need during the day um, and hope that that's enough like I'm terrible for overpacking anyway but I just want to make sure that I've got everything that I could possibly need because it's not like my mum or dad can just like pop over and bring more stuff because it's up in London um, so I need to kind of make sure I've got stuff to keep me entertained and toiletries and sort of clothes to wear and all that kind of stuff so we'll see how that goes um but yeah i'm gonna get on with doing this blog work and stuff now get some lunch and then i think my mum and i will pop over she's got to go to my grandma's first so once she gets back from my grandma's then we'll pop over to marks and spencer's to get some bedroom boots just been sat eating my lunch which was some cheese and beans on toast because i just fancy some comfort food it's a horrible day it's like it's just been dark all day and pouring with rain and sometimes I think you just need a bit of comfort food. I'd be interested to know like what your comfort food is. Um, I mean things like soup and bread are nice but yeah let me know. I think I feel like maybe what cause I try and make like resolutions like New Year's resolutions. Um, some of mine this year I think I've done others not so much. Um, but I do think one of my ones for next year might be to try and meal plan a bit better and to try like finding some different meals that I can have because I do tend to just have the same things um, that are quite easy um, and although I don't want to go for like difficult things I just feel like I need a bit more like variety so yeah let me know your favourite like recipes and meals because I'm looking for ideas. So I've done quite well this afternoon. Um, I've actually managed to get a blog post written. It's just not up yet because Blogger seems to be playing up. So I'm going to try and do that tomorrow. Um, 
I'm just sitting on the stairs um, waiting for my mum and we're going to head over to Marks and Spencers. It's nearly six o'clock, I wouldn't normally go over to Marks and Spencers at six o'clock, but we're just going to go and see if we can find any of these bedroom boots. Um, and hopefully it'll be fairly quiet at this time, so fingers crossed. Weather is still not very nice, so I'm not really looking forward to going out there, but <clears throat> losing my voice. Um, yeah, it needs to be done, so we are going to head over there, see what we can find, and then hopefully come back and watch Strictly. Not having much luck finding any bedroom boots that, that I like. I sh I'm sure I saw some online that I liked, but I can't find them online or in store now. But I'm just looking at the Christmas cards, and I thought these were rather cute. And I love these snowman ones as well. So we're just back from Marks and Spencers and Tesco's. It was absolutely horrible driving over. Um, I went away basically where there's no light or anything and it was pouring as rain. It was kind of like foggy, misty um, and you just couldn't see. Um, and there's loads of like surface water which you couldn't see. So it kept like hitting surf surface water and then like sliding. It was horrible. So we came back a different way, although it has stopped raining quite a lot. Um, I didn't, well, I thought I'd seen some bedroom boots on the Marks and Spencers website that were like tartan, um, which is what I was kind of looking for. Got in there, had a look around, couldn't see them anywhere. So I looked on my phone online and actually couldn't find them online. So I think I must have seen them somewhere else. Um, so we popped next door to Tesco's, had a look at their bedroom boots, but I didn't really find anything I wanted, but we did get a couple of other little bits. Um, and then went back to Marks and Spencers and I picked up a pair that I quite liked and I got 30% off as well because I had a voucher so I'm quite happy with them. So I'm saying goodbye to these ones which is a shame because they're really nice but they're just lethal. They're gonna, yeah they're not safe to wear anymore and these are the ones that I picked up in Marks and Spencers so they're grey but they've got like a sparkle to them and they've got two little pom-poms and they're really fluffy inside. Um, they were originally £19.50, but with my 30% off, I got them for about £13. So I think that was quite a good bargain. So I'm going to pop those on my feet. Um, we got a lasagna because I'm being lazy and I just fancied something warm and comforting. So I'm going to put these on my feet, go and put my pyjamas on, and then eat my lasagna. Good afternoon. Please excuse the lighting. Um, I am just sorting out my medication for next week. I was only going to do like Monday and Tuesday. But actually my mum said why don't I just do the whole week like I normally do and then when I come home from hospital I'll have some so that I don't have to do it like straight when I come home so I'm going to do that. Um, and then this afternoon I am in the remem yeah, Remembrance Parade. Um, we do ours in the afternoon. Here we have for as long as I can remember apart from last year which was like the 100 year um, centenary. We've always done ours in the afternoon um, and as a counsellor you can be in the parade and go to the service and stuff. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, thankfully the weather is a lot better today than it was yesterday. It's not raining at the moment, touch wood, um, and the sun's out so that's good. Um, so I want to try and get my medication done and then I need to have some lunch before I go because I need to go in about an hour. Um, and yeah, that's... That's the plan for today. Hello, sorry I haven't vlogged today really. Um, yeah, basically after I spoke to you, I had a bit of lunch and then went down to our local um, remembrance parade. So um, we had like a service in a church and then we paraded down to the war memorial and then um, have like another little service outside the war memorial. Um, it's the first time that I've paraded since I was in the guides or brownies, I can't actually remember. And yeah, it was quite surreal. Um, I quite like, it was nice being able to be part of it. And just, I don't know, it's, you get a lot of like community spirit because there's so many people there and everyone's there for the same reason. It's quite... I don't know if ni nice isn't the right word, but um, it's nice that everyone is there to remember and to pay their respects. And we were really lucky with the weather. Um, it was cold, but it was sunny, it wasn't raining, so that was good. Um, and then when I came back, um, I, what did I do? 
I just curled off on the sofa. I did a couple of bits on my computer, um, but Harry Potter was on TV again, which I'm just loving it being on every Sunday. Um, so I sat and watched Harry Potter. This week was Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Um, it's weird because like I watched Harry Potter like when it first came out and like went to the cinema when like each film came out and we do watch it like occasionally at home but it's just one of those films or series of films that you can watch over and over again and every time I watch it I see something different in it or I take something different away there are so many good quotes in Harry Potter I absolutely love it and Oh, I just it's a really I just love watching the films so I'm a bit, a bit gutted because if I'm in hospital still in hospital next Sunday I'm probably not going to be able to watch it because it's unlikely that I will pay for the TV service at the hospital it's expensive really expensive it was like five pounds <clears throat> for 24 hours and I just can't afford to pay for the TV there so I'm just gonna have to take bits to entertain myself but it'll be a shame like if I'm not at home I can't curl up and just watch the next um, film in the series. Um, I'm also really excited because I think I've seen a few trailers and I think this is true but that I think there's going to be um, another Harry Potter film next year in 2020 so I think it's going to be Harry Potter and the Cursed Child which I still haven't seen um, at the theatre. I've been past the theatre numerous times to go to hospitals and I would love to go and see it. Um, I've heard really good things about it and I'd quite like to try and see it before um, it comes out in the cinema. Whether that will happen or not I don't know but I've seen the trailer for the film and it looks really really good. Um, and if it's anything like the rest of the Harry Potter films, then I know I'm going to love it. So, yeah, very excited for that. Um, anyway, yeah, so I watched that and then we have had dinner. My dad made like, oh, excuse me, my dad made like a stew, um, which was quite nice to come home to after being out in the cold. Um, and now I'm going to have a bath and wash my hair. And I feel like I have to make the most of this bath because I don't think I'm going to be able to really have a bath for a while. Like once I've had my operation, like obviously I will try and wash, don't worry. Um, but I don't think it's going to be possible for me to have a bath. One, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get like the wound wet. But also because I just don't think I'm going to be able to physically get into a bath and out of a bath again. Um, so yeah, I kind of feel like this needs to be a special bath, so I might go and find a bath bomb, I've got a few Lush bath bombs that I can use, and just try and enjoy it, because I don't know when my next bath will be, which is a bit sad, um, especially with it being winter, I just love having a bath in the winter, so that's not going to be much fun. I have got a bath board though, so maybe when, um, like when I am allowed to have a bath um, I just don't know I don't know what the rules are or anything but maybe I can kind of sit on the bath board and get in and out that way I don't know we'll see but yes I'm going to try and enjoy this one um, so I'm going to go and have a bath wash my hair and then probably go and get a cup of tea and just watch a bit of YouTube before I go to bed so I thought I would come and end the video um, if you've enjoyed watching this week's video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. That means you'll get notified every time I upload a video so you won't miss anything. Um, don't forget to follow me on social media as well. Um, my links are all in the description bar and I'll probably pop them up here as well. But yeah, come over and follow me because I try and post fairly regularly on Twitter and Instagram especially. Leave me a comment, let me know what you guys have been up to this week and also let me know if there's any videos you'd like to see me do, whether they're vlog style or sit down or anything else that you can think of. Let me know because it's always good to hear your ideas and suggestions and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!